we are out here outside the National Weather Service office. We're not in the main building itself. We're outside in what they would call their upper air building. And today, we've got a pretty unique uh, thing to show you here. I'm joined here by Green Bay National Weather Service Warning Coordination Meteorologist, Kurt Kotenberg. Kurt, good morning. Thank you for being out here with good us. Good morning. Uh, glad to be here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, big week uh, for uh, the state of Wisconsin with the emergency preparedness going on. Uh, one of the biggest things that the National Weather Service does, obviously, is collect data for those weather forecasts mm -hmm. and then making those weather forecasts. And a big part of that is something that the Green Bay National Weather Service Office does uh, right here. So tell me a little bit about the uh, operations here. Sure. Um, so what we do every morning, uh, every morning and afternoon between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., and then 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. is we, we'll launch a weather balloon. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of interesting over the years this is what they used to be. It's like pretty big things, and then it says harmless weather instruments. So if one lands in your backyard, you don't yeah. think it's something. You don't always know what they are, yeah. right? I assure you, it's, it's from this country and like this area. Then this is the one we use nowadays. So technology has just gotten so much better to where we can have like just a smaller, lighter thing, and it's pretty light, like it's lighter than a baseball. So, um, so what these things do is we will launch it, uh, we'll inflate this. And yeah. once this gets fully blown up, um, it'll be big enough so that uh, you or I feel could probably get inside of it. So it'll be pretty <laughs> big. And then once it pops at the top of the atmosphere, it's like the size of this entire building. So it expands and oh, wow. gets bigger. And so what happens is we attach this to the balloon. And then this transmits back to our forecast office information like the wind speed, wind direction, temperature um, of the atmosphere as we go from the yep. ground all the way up. Uh, then we take that data and that goes into our computer models. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like taking a snapshot of the atmosphere. Yeah. And so not only do we do this for our area, but there's like 96 other offices across the country that are also launching a balloon at pretty much the exact same time. So. And it's not every office that does that. Green Bay is kind of unique in that because right. Milwaukee doesn't do this. No. Minneapolis doesn't do this. La Crosse doesn't do this. We're the only one in our region that does this. Yep, exactly. Um, and then the crucial part of this, too, is, you know, it's tell me about why it's so important to get that vertical snapshot versus what's just happening down on the ground. Right. So this all goes into the computer models. Yeah. It's kind of like the thing, like we say, like garbage in equals garbage out. Yeah, yeah. Or garbage in garbage, something like that. Yes, it's no, really no, that's exactly it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yes. Yeah. Um, but so at any rate, so this helps us get that picture of the atmosphere to help the data be as accurate as possible that goes into the computer models. Okay. And then that helps us with the forecast. You know, here at the Weather Service, you at Fox 11, make those forecasts, which in turn help keep people safe, and especially if there's severe weather. Yeah. Um, sometimes if there is an active severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center, like if they, they're forecasting like a moderate risk, we might do a special balloon launch at like right. noon or 1 p.m., and that will help us get the picture of the atmosphere um, even closer to when severe weather might start. Right, once it starts warming up in the middle of the day and yeah, stuff like that. Exactly. Very cool. Um, but, yeah, so we sealed off the balloon here. The balloon is attached to this parachute, and this is all 100% biodegradable. And so the balloon goes, like, 30,000-plus feet in the air, and it gets bigger as it goes in the air. So it'll be, like, the size of this entire building, like a two-car garage. That's incredible. And then it'll pop and it'll all um, come back down to the ground and again it's biodegradable. Um, we have our harmless weather instrument here. So what this does here is this measures all the data like wind speed, wind direction, temperature uh -huh. in the atmosphere and it brings it back to the office here. And then we use this data for our computer models. Yep. And that goes into keeping people safe. Now for launching this balloon, you know, obviously we've got Austin Straubel next door. Yes. Do you have to coordinate with them for launching yep. that balloon so they know that this is going yes. on? Yes, don't, uh, don't want that uh, unpleasant surprise. So we coordinate with them to make sure there's no airplanes, obviously for the safety of the airplanes. Mm -hmm. But also, too, like even if a plane lands and we launch it immediately after, like the wind might be a little bouncy. Oh, turbulence. So it could, oh, sure. could throw our data off. So okay. we want the most accurate data possible because that goes into our computer models, which we use to keep people safe. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, we'll tell you what, we've got, I think, about 30 seconds to a minute here. So we'll let you go ahead and start uh, uh, heading on out and launching. Okay. I know. We, I just heard a, a jet start <laughs> to, ra to roar its engines, too. Hopefully they're taking off the other direction. All right. <laughs> And then, yeah, so this string's like 100 or so feet, so it's uh, pretty long here. Yeah. On windy days, it's going to be challenging, um, but not... Very light good. winds today, though. All right, so here we go. Uh, three, two, one. 
Oh boy, straight up. And there it goes. All right, starting to track off a little bit off to the north, it looks like. And there we have it.